Welcome back guys. In this video on Fishaholic, I will share how I added live aquatic potty plants to my aquarium. And as you can see, the guppies are already excited. They're really interested in these plants and also exploring around new changes. There are two main reasons why I added uh, these aquatic plants. And later on in this video, I'll share those two important reasons with you. Choosing the plants wasn't an easy task as I was keen in plants like this with a wider leaf or something that can uh, live in low light and still looking around trying to see what other plant I can get from here uh, this plant is pretty good as well good colors uh, so I selected two plants from this store and now I'm making my way to another store uh, this store has got quite a lot of plants as well and um, still I'm looking for something different maybe this plant I think I already picked this up from the other store but this one is really healthy and I can see a plant at the back the leaves are pretty long and the plant is tall as well so I'm definitely buying this plant as well and mm, these are good plants but not something I'm looking for some more plants on this side Uh, this plant is pretty cool nice colors wide leaves so I'll take that one yeah and uh, yep this plant uh, so I bought four plants from this store because they were on special I'm at Bunnings now to buy some pots 68 cents for a pot and I've got six plants so I'll need six of these so I've got all the six plants on me uh, there's a bag of gravel uh, that's from my really old aquarium and I've got the pots ready and I'll start um, unboxing these plants add them to the pot and fill the pots with gravel the plant I'm holding right now is called aluminum plant and if you look at the plant it's absolutely beautiful it's got broad green leaves and some silver marking on the foliage and there's one thing I want to mention about this plant is this is not a true aquatic plant it means you're not gonna live in the aquarium forever in saying that it could live in the aquarium for a few weeks up to few months or could be one year it just depends on the water condition amount of nutrients present in the water and uh, light in the aquarium the second plant is called purple vefo again such a beautiful plant it's got broad leaves the top of the leaf is dark green and the bottom is purple it adds that variation to the tank Again, this is not a true aquatic plant. It's more suitable for terrarium. But it will be a great addition to my aquarium. The easiest way of potting this plant is just to scoop gravel with a plastic cup and tip it in this cup. And then I can just move gravel around with my fingers to make sure the plant is positioned right in the center. So I've got another purple waffle and the reason I bought this plant was because um, the store I went to they had a special deal so you buy four for the price of three and um, just because of the uh, color of these leaves and the broadness I just grabbed another um, plant uh, so one of the main reason I bought these plants and I'm adding these to the guppy tank is um, to provide some sort of comfort to the fish and uh, if the guppies have fry, at least those fry can hide under these broad leaves. And in this way, the adults won't get to them. And if they're hungry, at least they won't eat them. 
And the second most important reason of adding plants to the aquarium is due to nitrogen cycle in the tank. Sponge filter is the most recommended filter for all small tropical fish. But the sponge filter only provides biological filtration. It means all the excess food, fish waste, it stays inside the aquarium, which then gets converted to ammonia. Ammonia is toxic to the fish, but the bacteria will convert that ammonia to nitride. Now nitride is less toxic than ammonia. And again, there's bacteria present in the filter, which will convert that nitride to nitrate. Now nitride is less toxic, but there's no bacteria in a sponge filter that could convert that nitrate to something else. So two ways how you can get rid of nitrate. Uh, one way is water changes. Obviously most of the um, aquarium hobbyists, they do water changes. And the other way is by adding plants because these plants thrive on those nitrate. The plant I just added to the pot is called Purple Temple. And again, it's really, really beautiful. And the colors and the shape of the leaf just add variation to the aquarium. I have two more plants to pot and the main reason I bought this plant it was because of the size of the leaves uh, they're really long and looks really beautiful if you look at the leaves it's got two different colors dark green and light green or a bit yellowish I don't know exactly the name of this plant and uh, if any of you know the name of the plant please feel free to share that uh, in the comment section below And as you can see, I'm running out of gravel. I had this gravel in this bag for a really long time. And I didn't want to throw it out at that time because I thought like maybe in future I might have a use for this gravel. And today is the day. bear with me guys i know it's a bit boring but this is the last plant i'm going to pot again the reason i bought this plant was just because of the length of the leaves they're not too broad but they are really long and uh, unfortunately i don't know the name of this plant so if any of you know the name please share that in the comment section below and uh, if you look at the bottom of the stem it's already rooting so that's not bad um, almost done with this fortunately i just had enough gravel to do the last part and um, have a look at these parts now that's second plant that's the third one some of them are not standing upright but that's not a big deal because when it goes in the tank they will be all standing upright the fun part starts now adding these to the aquarium so as you can see i moved the coral rock to somehow the middle of the aquarium and uh, extra care should be taken while lowering these plants in the aquarium because the gravel might come out or the stems might go loose and the plant might start floating in the water so just take your time lower this slowly so I'm thinking of adding three plants to the left side so two along the back glass and one maybe somewhere next to the thermometer and then i want to add three plants on the right side of the coral rock
I'm positioning purple waffle to the front of the aquarium due to just these beautiful broad colorful leaves and another similar plant on the right side just to balance the look of the aquarium So this plant is not lined properly but later on I'll just fix it with my finger it just has to be a bit upright and that's the last plant aluminum plant broad green leaves with these beautiful silver marking on the foliage my job is almost done just added the last plant and I hope they serve the two important purpose I mentioned earlier and in the breeder box I've got 14 fry from one of my female guppy so I've got two other female guppies they're pregnant and they might deliver in next few days so if I don't move them to the breeder box on time and they deliver the fry at least all these plants will provide enough hiding spots to those fry if you have enjoyed watching this video please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed really appreciate your time and thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video